Now to our top story. Three men plead guilty in federal court today to charges related to the abuse and torture of Tennessee walking horses. It's the result of an undercover operation began by the Humane Society with graphic video of horses being abused in what advocates say is a common practice. News Channel 9's John Pless was in the hearing and he's here now to tell us what happened. John. Latricia, people from around the world reacted with outrage after seeing that graphic undercover video on ABC's Nightline, some of which we're going to show you here. And at the center of the investigation is Jackie McConnell of Collierville, Tennessee. Federal prosecutors made a deal with him to enter a plea this morning. In this Humane Society undercover video aired on ABC's Nightline, Jackie McConnell and his helpers are seen abusing and torturing Tennessee walking horses. Their ankles are covered with caustic chemicals to make walking so painful they have to flinch. Horses are beaten so that they learn not to show pain when they're inspected. That flinch produces the gait that earns owners, trainers, and the walking horse industry tens of millions of dollars. Three major sports in the South. Um, college football, NASCAR, and Tennessee walking horses. It is the lifeblood of a lot of communities. Nathaniel Jackson is a breeder in Cookville who helped ABC News develop the story. He came to Chattanooga to see McConnell enter a guilty plea to one count of transporting and showing horses that were soared. The other 51 criminal counts developed from the undercover video were dropped in exchange for the plea. Prosecutors argued McConnell should get probation. I was surprised, I'll say that. Very surprised. David Howard, an organizer of the $41 million annual walking horse show in August, says most everyone in the industry expected McConnell to do hard time. While animal rights advocates say soaring is a common practice, Howard argues Tennessee's walking horse community is safe and humane. I'm telling you, you're never going to be able to eliminate everything in the industry. Why is that? Is it just because of the money that's at stake? It's the same thing in any sport. Why did Roger Clemens take drugs? I mean, people, some people are going to cheat. I know some of the officials in Shelbyville says, oh, it's not rampant and it's only isolated. No, sir. No, ma'am. It's not. But Jackson says the ABC report sheds light on one of Tennessee's ugly secrets, which has already led to many trainers and groomers coming forward to report the practice. He says it's fear and money that kept the silence. We needed something that grabbed the consciousness of the public and uh, demanded uh, an outrage response. While federal prosecutors are recommending McConnell get probation instead of prison for his plea, it will be up to Judge Sandy Matice to decide the penalty during a sentencing hearing on September 10th. Two other men who also entered guilty pleas this morning will also be sentenced that day. Calvin? Thanks, John. As we said, the Horse Protection Act that led to the convictions of these three men is not enforced very often. In fact, in just the past year in Tennessee, there's only been three prosecutions for violating the act, including the one that unfolded in Chattanooga Federal Court today. Up until this year, the USDA has only had half a million dollars a year to enforce the Horse Protection Act. But this year, that budget increased by almost 40 percent. Now, dozens of owners and trainers are under a USDA suspension. A Benton man has died in a wreck in Polk County.